Welcome back, everyone. It's week 14, Stone Barn CSA. I'm here to show you what's in this week's box. There's quite a bit of stuff, so we'll, we'll go through it. Um, first, the lettuce is back, uh, and actually coming back really strong. These are, uh, these are some really beautiful, large romaine heads. We have several varieties of them growing this season. Um, many of them are new varieties for us. Uh, new to the market from our Dutch breeding partners there, Bayo and Vitalis. Um, the heads are really dense and thick and uh, the rib is really nice and watery. Generally speaking, romaines do the best right now because they're the least likely to bolt and uh, they love the heat where most of the other lettuces uh, are a little weaker and bolt faster and tend to be more bitter. These are really delicious. Um, we have uh, Shimonitas here, uh, scallion onions, also really sweet. Um, actually, last night I was trying some of these, playing around with them, and I've been eating some of the lettuces uh, to try the different varieties. And I just chopped up some of this onion nice and fine. It's, they're fibrous, so you have to chop them close, but it's so sweet. So I just sauteed them in a pan and a, a little bit of olive oil and uh, was able to put them right on these large leaves of lettuce and use them as a wrap. Um, it was really delicious along with having a salad. But otherwise, there's a lot of nightshades in this week's box. We'll talk about that. We have uh, a pint of shishitos. We're getting close to the end of the shishito season for us in the greenhouse. Um, there's also some sun, uh, some uh, snack lunchbox peppers here in the pint. Uh, there's a number of different varieties of our long sweet pepper, um, Carmen and Escamillo and Stocky Red Roaster, a mix of those. And also some of the bells we're playing around with in the greenhouse. These are particularly uh, a Johnny Seed uh, bell pepper. And there are a couple of jalapenos in the mix too. Of course, there'll be tomatoes. Uh, slightly lighter this week, but still you'll see a good selection of the heirlooms that are out there. There's still a pretty good crop. Um, a little bit lower than we've had the past few weeks, but uh, the plants are really healthy and putting out a lot of new fruit. So we'll probably see uh, another rally here in the next couple of weeks and they'll come on strong again. Um, to go with that, again, keep making your salsa and, and uh, mixes. There's another small bunch of cilantro to use. Um, when I'm making a salsa, I generally use this. That's this is sort of a perfect size. Maybe a little bit. Maybe I could get two out of this even. So uh, good to add. And we have beet greens this week. Actually, really particularly clean beet greens. Um, and what we've done is we're, we're trying to make some room here in the greenhouse for our fall plantings that are coming in. We have a lot of successions. So pull it, as we pull out short sections of space, um, rather than chopping these greens, uh, taking them off the beet, the, the beet will last better in the cooler without the top. Uh, so we're giving you the greens as we take them off and save some of those that we put in. Uh, next week you'll see beets and tops from these from the greenhouse. Um, again, some really nice new genetics, really great variety for organic production. These are uh, Boro beets and Pablo beets. Um, they exhibit almost no leaf diseases, which is very rare for beets. And really, they're delicious because of that, because they're not stressed by any of the pressure from what is you know, commonly a speckled red beet leaf from a, a disease, disease called Cladosporium. Um, so these are really great. Eat them like Swiss chard, um, you know, a light saute. They'll really be delicious in the salad. Anyway, uh, there's also uh, several different types of eggplants in the box this week to finish up. Uh, also, some new uh, varietals that are available to us from Enza Zaden and, and Vitalis from Holland. Um, others like uh, uh, this nice beautiful green, uh, Bride, Tung Ho, Japanese style, uh, long thin eggplants. All of them have great, nice uh, sort of dense texture, a little bit different than a lot of the Italian eggplants you might be used to. Great for the grill. Uh, great to just saute in a pan and mash or however you like them, uh, but a lot of flavor and low bitterness on all these varieties. 
So also I want you to keep your eye out there in the store when you come in on Thursday for flower bunches and also for chicken. Um, we have been accumulating uh, chickens and as we sell them to you, I'm hopefully you're eating lots of fresh chicken, but we also have frozen chicken available. They're cryovac, really well uh, frozen and delicious after a day to thaw. Uh, so just encourage you to look for the frozen chickens that are in our freezer and bring them home and try them out with all the rest of your veggies here. Uh, hope you have a good week and see you next time.